okay. the best movies. Okay. It will be practically heaven. However, we will be constantly <laughs> doing you. The internet is a story that's just incredibly horny. So the only way now to drink Starbucks coffee, uh -huh. the only way I'm gonna have a pumpkin spice latte, which is delicious, is like this. Check it out. <laughs> Why did Right? Why did he do that? That's what that's what I'm saying. It's like it's kinda like the the bro version of when the guy like put his hand head like mouth on the thing like shake yeah, coffee, you know? Yeah. It's like the bro version of that. You just fucking shotgun it. I'm addicted to caffeine, I think. Like, <laughs> you think? You that think looks maybe? really fun to me. But I don't really like like pumpkin flavored stuff. I don't know why. Like that pumpkin flavored cold brew that we had the other day was so freaking yeah, it was good. Pretty disgusting. It was so good. I like pumpkin pie. Uh-huh. And <laughs> it's a short list. A short I just list. okay. You like pumpkin pie. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if you get like a pumpkin bread, it's basically Gross. just pumpkin pie disgusting. in bread form. Get it out of my face. Perfect. My wife and I disagree on a couple of different things. Right. But we do agree on how much we like Internet Historian. Oh, I think he's great. He does this, right? Like, he does this all the time in videos. We've mentioned it before. Yeah. That, like, literally, I know I've said specifically him being a DM would be trouble. Internet Historian is known to be a fucking menace when they're shooting these videos with a purpose. <laughs> Right? And then they just riff in the middle of the video because they can't pin the guy down. He's just right. like, all right, here's the scenario. And he just starts rat rattling off bullshit, killing the people that he's with like a DM. He likes to pivot. Right. <laughs> but for him, it's like it never, it never falls, falls apart. apart. And if you make a weak argument, he's tearing him to it oh, immediately. God. Oh, God. So, Don't have any holes in your plot that's armor. What I'm okay? saying, like, He'll just immediately take a knife and just be like, <laughs> right, remember, remember when homie was like, oh, I would just like take a gun with me back to medieval times. And he was like, yeah, then they're gonna shoot you with arrows. Like, what are you talking about? So this is what I was really hoping that this would be. But, uh, so we're literally gonna start it all the way over, but I'm actually now twice as excited. Right? right. I'm all out of ideas for videos. Uh, Samito, you be you, and I'm me, the Dungeon Master. I'm gonna throw scenarios at you, <laughs> so and you your goal is to come out of them better off or you lose. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can do that. I'm capable of being me. Okay, perfect. Let me fire up Photoshop. Bing, 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 bong. Okay. Yeah. You are getting a massage. Okay. okay. So relaxing. Ah, oh, this is great. This he, sound effect is disgusting. He goes, all right, you're all done, <laughs> sir. <laughs> and he very quickly <laughs> lifts off the towel and then, hold on, excuse this image. <laughs> What is he doing? Excuse what? this image. What? And then he goes, Hah! and he chops you right down between the ass cheeks. <laughs> Wait, I need a clarification here. Has what? he split me in half vertically? What? And I'm... No, he's got his hand <laughs> wedged in your cheeks, dog. Now, he has just like essentially karate chopped you between the ass cheeks. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then he okay. puts the towel back on you, and then he yep. dusts himself off, and he walks away. Cool. cool. You are now wide awake. <laughs> what do you, what <laughs> do, you <laughs> do? I would just go about my day. I don't know anything about massage. I've what? never been to Sweden. All right, I mean, I'll forget about this in an hour, I guess. So you would really just say nothing? I didn't say what? I wouldn't do anything. I just refused to pay extra. That's all. You oh. don't make a complaint? I mean, I wouldn't go back to the massage place, but what does putting in a complaint do, you know? What the fuck? <sighs> All right. Okay. I, okay. Yeah, so. Okay. But low key, he's right. <laughs> what? Okay. You get so karate chopped between <laughs> the cheeks and you just go, I'm going to take that L. What do you do? What do you want him to do? You want him to fist to cuffs him? He just had his hands yeah. in your ass cheek. Okay. Slowly get dressed. Okay. Make it seem like everything's fine. Uh-huh. Come up to the front. Yeah. Let the manager know, hey, I got a compliment. For your guy back there, can you bring him to the front? Okay. So I could talk about your, you know, the service. Yeah. They bring him out to the front, and you just look him dead in the eye. And you just crunch his throat. You just wedge your hand between my ass cheeks. <laughs> you start there. Okay. Let everybody know. Okay. And what does that do? Even better. You know those people that were with Nickelodeon? Okay, but they were just protesting. You didn't see that? 
than protesting Nickelodeon? No. Nickelodeon protests. Protect survivors, not predators. Shut up. Right here. Right here. Nickelodeon didn't protect me. Read the sign, though. I want to read the protest sign. Oh, oh Jesus you piece Christ. Of garbage. But one says, uh -huh. instead of Nickelodeon, Sickelodeon. Uh -huh. So this is what I want to do. I, I'll end up at the outside of this with poorly made signs with a good message. Okay. Protesting, yelling outside. I don't think there's anybody even there. What is this? Like, what is this one even? <laughs> like, what is this? What are, what are, what, what am I supposed to get from this? Yeah. Yeah. But the Sickelodeon sign equivalent of protest in front of this place. Okay. All right. Like, I feel like you got to kind of just take the L. I feel because I'm not announcing to the world. I'm not telling anybody what just happened to me. Cry to chop between the cheeks. I'm not telling. Why would I tell anybody? And the way that? he tells the story, it's like not even like a sexual harassment thing. It's just like a, that's just the like a, the that's, end. That, you know, it's, he's putting a period at the end of the sentence. <laughs> It's a Swedish thing, cultural. So you get to the massage reception. <laughs> Absolutely no shot they speak English, but let's go with it. Okay. Excuse me, Miss Receptionist Lady. Oh, hello, sir. I hope you enjoyed your Swedish message. <laughs> it was good. However, I have a complaint. I was assaulted by your masseuse. Your masseuse chopped my ass. Also, do you guys have the, the Swedish meatballs available now? Or is that, <laughs> do I get that in the food court? I assure you, sir, our masseuses and masseurs are some of the most professional. They would never assault a person. Okay, well, I'm Denial. calling the police. You better check the video. And then, okay, so then the masseur. Jesus. That's creepy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out and oh. he's like, is there a problem? You punched me in the face. I'm playing it up super high, hoping that he's like, I didn't punch you in the face. I right, just right. chopped your ass. And yeah, then he'd yeah. be like, ah, ah, I got you. You punched me in the face and then ran out of the room. Uh, sir, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> I think we call this one an L. I'm already feeling this isn't going anywhere. That's it. You're not going to fight it. Look at those arms. I don't think it solves anything. Sure. And now your ass is sore, so it's hard to run away. Yeah, that's an L for you. Anyway, sir, that will be 200... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not paying shit. Uh, I'm Swedish curl. Yeah, you can suck my Swedish balls, and I'm, <laughs> I'm just leaving. So the real question is, is an ass, is a karate chop between the ass worth the price of the massage? That's really the question we're asking here. Like, after I get karate chopped in the ass, would I be willing to pay? Because you're not paying. So what I'm saying is, is it worth it? Is it worth... Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not going to pay. So that's really... The only win you can get from this is not paying for the massage. Probably not. Yeah. I would say not. No. Yeah. I'd rather have just paid for a regular massage. A regular massage, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next and one. Bing, the bing, oh, bing, bing. Right. Welcome to the Raycon episode of How It's oh, Made. I love this Let's do the show. tour of the Raycon factory to see how this disruptive new technology is made. Now, most earbuds are made from recycled medical waste, but Ew. not Raycon everyday earbuds. Come, see the field where Raycons are organically grown. That's... Go to buy Raycon. <laughs> you can't do that. They can't pay you to make this. Go back frame by frame. I don't want to fucking miss it. That you can't, you can't pay somebody for slave posts. Go to buyraycon.com slash incognito to get your everyday earbuds. Ooh, look, there's a ripe one. They are picked, and from here uh, they go into the barrel, locked away for fermentation, which releases their static, giving them a crisp, clear, and bassy sound. Next, we test the battery. Quality components <laughs> ensure that Raycons have a staggering 32 hours of Ooh. battery life. This is weird and of course, they have noise reduction built in. Oh! oh, that must have gone over a hay bale. Health and safety is a high priority here at Raycon Farms. The new and improved <laughs> silky rubber look and feel is so comfortable in your ears. We test them in the supple ears of local labor. Supple and that's ears. also the secret to keeping them affordable. Because Raycons start at half the price of other premium brands. For example, listen to this Discord notification at 200% volume. So again, go to buyraycon.com slash incognito to get your everyday earbuds. With the built-in mic, you can take calls with the simple press of a button. 
big nephews of McDonald's, so can I help you? <laughs> uh, two double whoppers, please. The R stands for G-Rate five-star reviews. Stupid. Over 50,000 five-star reviews. Now we put them in the cement mixer. We don't know why. So what are you <laughs> waiting for? Buds. Here's CEO Ray J. He personally kisses <laughs> oh every one of them God. to ensure strength and durability. Thanks, Ray J. Break them. Step on it right now. No, you step on them. <laughs> Go to buyraycon.com. You left out the best part. I don't care. I don't care. Slash incognito, or click the link in the description to get fifteen percent off your Raycon purchase. Nice. Yes. Okay. So there's Samito, he's in his apartment and he is loving it. But then he gets a message on his phone. What, like a Batman? And it says the bank has withdrawn. $50 from your account. You balance negative $50. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Anyway, thanks for Anyways. buying Twitch subs for Alinity. What do you do? You I'd nice. probably reach out to Twitch. Just click some buttons, reach out to contact. Hey, fuck you. Hello, this is uh, Twitch HQ. Uh, how Seven. can I help you? Listen, I know this is the eighth time that I've called you about this this month, but I promise I didn't do it on purpose this time. Sorry, all purchases are final. And then all of a sudden, Bezos comes into the room and he goes, Tough shit, mate. I'm keeping my 30% <laughs> cut. Now what? The only Click. thing you can do is dispute it with the bank. I guess given that that's the only thing I can do, I'll probably do that. The Bank of America. Haha. Uh -huh. Inside bank. Oh, uh, so you're in there. How can I help you, sir? Hello, Mr. of America. I have a dispute to make. There's a charge <laughs> on my bank account that I did not purchase. Ah, oh, I see. What a terrible mistake we have made. Let us fix that for you straight away. Simply give us all of your personal details, which you will now <laughs> state during the recording. Uh, <laughs> sure. F full name, the last name, Internet historian. <laughs> That's no problem, sir. We can see that you did not buy Twitch and Linity subs because clearly you have done it with a woman once before. We will offer that refund straight nice. away. No problem. Ka chow is what I say when I'm <laughs> satisfied at a bank. You go to the ATM and you okay. put your card in. You it's notice something interesting. It's a setup. Your bank balance says. What? Wait, that's way more zeros than I'm accustomed to. I don't even know what number this is. What is that, like 90 bucks? 190 bucks? 290 bucks? I think I would like go to the ATM next to it and then just stick my okay. card in again and okay. just make sure it's All not right. like a computer glitch. Like this can't be real. No way this is real. Same deal. Holy dick suck. Your hands are shaking with adrenaline. You realize you've got a hundred million dollars now at your fingertips. I would go to a different bank than the one. Quick, you have a hundred million dollars in your bank account all of a sudden. What do you do? Okay, you open up a separate bank account uh -huh. overseas, uh -huh. transfer the funds through a credit union uh -huh. so that they can't be tracked. They can only do $50,000 at a time. You're not getting out of this with a whole milli, first of all. It's right. not going to fucking happen. Right. You take the 50 grand. Yeah. I work remote, man. We're going on the internet. Where the hell? I don't know this shit from Where anywhere. in America are you going to go for 50 grand? I'm going to Spain. They're not going to, it's not going to be mine for long. Do you think they'll notice the 50,000 missing? You know. I don't know. Like, there's paper trail. There's paper trail. I'm not paying it back, so I don't, they're wasting their fucking time. I mean, time. they left to Spain. They know I don't have it. Yeah. It's spent. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> million dollars now at your fingertips. I would go to a different bank than the one that I just walked into okay. just to make sure I don't bump into the teller. I'd be like, hello, I'm Mr. Fancy this and that. I'd like to withdraw a million dollars. <laughs> just like that. Okay, so you get to the next Bank of America, and <laughs> the branch is a different from... Lello, Hades. Like, How you doing? You, I think you decide to dress the part a little more. Okay. So, you go... Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, look at me. <laughs> right, you've got, you got your iPods in, and you go and... Hey, peasants, daddy needs his money. <laughs> chop, chop. Right away, good Jesus. sir. How much money do you want? I'd like to withdraw... Two million dollars. Two million dollars. They just like start clapping. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations! The whole bank stands up and they started clapping. How would you like that in uh, non-sequential one-dollar bills? You know what? I'll take a cashier's check. 
actually. I will tip you Where generously you for this. Where are you going to cash And then I like check. rip uh, a I'm corner off to... of the check and hand it to her. <laughs> you, you keep that for yourself, sweetheart. How are you going to cash that check if you've only got one bank account? Different bank. Hop over to any other bank. So you go there, you open a new account, and you deposit the checks. Now what? Well, now the fun starts. Discord call my favorite New Zealand-based YouTuber. I'm going to visit many kudos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, suddenly, ring, ring. Oh, fuck. I hope the checks went through. Bank of America calling. Moshi moshi. Good evening, moshi sir. Moshi. Uh, how are you doing? Is this uh, Sumito Media I'm speaking to? Yes. Yes, it might be, depending on how this conversation goes. Well, sir, I think you do know how this conversation is going to go. Sir, where is that money? It is not yours. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. What are you talking about? I have no idea. Sir, I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. We have... You know, I'm going to be honest with you. As a dude who's worth $98 million, <laughs> I think I know a little bit more about how money works than a lady at the bank. All right, sir. <laughs> We're not taking this as a joke. We will be contacting the authorities next. We would like to see you at the bank immediately. You'll have to speak to my secretary and then and then I hang up because this conversation is going nowhere. Okay. <laughs> Send in the bank police. Definitely thought he was going to say that I'm going to fart on the phone. Like oh. a million percent. <laughs> he going to speak to my assistant. <laughs> like, I definitely Why? thought that was going to Why? I did. Okay, what, I what do you do now? Go to Chipotle. I'm literally not concerned at all. You feel no stress. <laughs> you are now on the hook for two million dollars that is not yours. They eat my two million dollar ass. <laughs> Not on the hook for anything. <laughs> what you have technically committed is wire fraud. Yeah. You gave I'm me I'm gonna go money. to Chipotle. Okay. No I'm more Taco Chipotle. Bell for your boy. I've been thinking about this my whole life. To Chipotle, Mr. Historian. Come on, roll the dice. <laughs> okay. Ha, ha. You're in Chipotle. How you doing, There's boys? Let drivers? me get a burrito bowl with a tortilla on the side. Some white rice, please. Now what? That I would download good. Coinbase to my phone, and I would purchase like ten million dollars of shitcoin. Okay, we well only got two million in that account. I've still got the first account. No, they've seized that thing. Really? Well, you're already he on the said, line with the lady. Really? Fucking smart that I moved money, I guess. What do you do? You buy a whole bunch of cryptocurrency with it? Yeah, I'd say just dump like 1.8 mil into fucking Ethereum. Yeah, buy them. To the airport. To the airport. Well, they definitely got your name on the list. Give me the money. Give me the money. Oh, he's not here. He seems to have fled. Ha, huh, I thought about this all along. Totally. I definitely wasn't just hungry. Find this man. <laughs> Take him down. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna uh -huh. kill me? The airport. My next plane, how can I sir? Hello, how are you doing? My assistant messed up my plane flight, so I need to purchase a new ticket for New Zealand. Oh, I see, sir. Well, our next departing flight is about six hours. I feel like six hours is a lot of fucking time. I was hoping to find something that would depart in like 30 minutes, but I don't want to be conspicuous. A flight in 30 minutes. Well, there are tickets to Thailand, the Ukraine. Thailand's close enough. I got a Ukraine, buddy there. I can bro. Wait. Take the Ukraine flight. There's action there. The layover. When's that flight take off? One ticket, please. Sir, if you run right now, you'll just make it. Is this one of those romantic things for love? Are you trying to get on that flight before she goes? Exactly. I can't let him get away from me. He's only I've ever... Get, give me the fucking ticket. I do so love a romantic story. Oh. All right, sir. Let me just process that for you. Jesus Christ, you all right? <laughs> sir, I've got that ticket for you right here. These plane tickets look familiar. Hold on. Uh, so what do you do? Do you fly coach? Do you go first class? First class, absolutely. What the fuck? Duh. I don't know how many fucking YouTube views I'll get for showing off the first class cabin. First plane ticket. All right. You got it? Hell yeah. Hello, hello. I am a airplane. I would like to take my passenger, please. Oh, it's good to see you again. Take your seat up front, sir. Haha. <laughs> I belong here. I watched the in-flight movie. Do -do 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 -do. Flying through the air. Okay. Okay. You've got out of the country. Nice. You've got a bit under $2 million, and you now live in... Kok Bang, Thailand, baby. Ha ha ha. I don't know any Thai. I get a nice 
reasonable shack that I rent in cash. Okay. You know, nice enough apartment in Thailand. Hell yeah, baby. I did it. Uh Uh-oh, Samito. Meanwhile... Sir, the amount we were able to recover was only 98 million. And we believe that he has oh, no. fled the country. Oh no, who is it that he stole from? How down this man. I want him dead. Yeah. I want his family yeah, dead. I want it? his potted house plants dead. No! I want my succulents. Do whatever you can. <laughs> I did think of this already. Okay. Right. Okay. The reason I specifically like Eastern Asia is because you don't need to take a plane to end up in another country. That's the best part about it. Oh. Yeah. Your plan is basically just to live off the $2 million. I mean, you've seen Mark Weens, right? Uh, toilet? Yeah. The places they stay in, they're paying like $400 a month for like a 30,000 bedroom, yes. you know, sex dungeon. Toilet? Two million dollars is easily enough to live in Thailand for the rest of your life. Yeah, he's I'm down to be a crazy rich Asian. <laughs> okay, so you catch your <laughs> Thailand boat to where? Take me to Singapore, my friend. That's got to go. be far enough. All right, it's a bit of a tax haven anyway. Let's go. Who is that guy? Just as he's about to take off. When we go to the sushi place and they're playing that guy eating food in the background on the TV, uh-huh. I'm like, look, that guy is eating food. Uh-huh. That's him. Awesome. Okay. I don't know his name, but that's that's the guy. Got it. I see that. All right. That's a fast. I work for the mafia, and I have caught up with you, Samito Media. Uh, no, no speaking English. <laughs> uh, I am Fisherman. Get out of the damn boat, Samito. Mark, hit the gas. <laughs> <laughs> Takes off. You go flying with him. Hell yeah. And he goes. Blam, 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 blam. No. He shot. Oh, Trevor He's... James. <laughs> right, in Singapore. Now what do you do? Uh, give the dude the equivalent of six lifetimes worth of cash. Right. You know what, Samito? You made it to Singapore. Woo! And then from there, you made it to South Korea. Hell yeah. You were basically a free man. They can't catch up with you. And you live now in South Korea. Retired, I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pass me the pad thai, the national dish of South Korea. (laughs) Okay, you did it. You are on holiday. So here you are in London, and you are not having a great time. I hate it here. The beers are warm. Beans on toast is Mm. not a real Mm. food. But you are so keen to see Buckingham Palace. I'm going to see it, damn it. You get off the station, and you get to Buckingham Palace. Uh Here you are, and you're walking along, and Where's the do, 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 do. mind the gap. There's a hole on the ground. There's a hole in the ground. Yeah, but don't worry, you jumped over that. Okay. Now, you suddenly hear dong, dong, dong. It's the bells. Oh, right, from that really famous clock? Yes. Sizable yeah. Benjamins. <laughs> Now, everybody knows that they only ring the bells when someone important dies. The queen. Oh. She had too many beans on toast, and she exploded. (laughs) Too many is one, by the way. And they go, oh my god, quick, get Prince Charles onto the scene. Okay. And he's going, I'm not too late, am I? No, you're just in time uh, from my assumptions. Maybe you would have got here quicker if you weren't carrying a carriage. You go <laughs> in it, my boy. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, Samito. So he gets out of the cabbage, the cabbage, the carriage. Right. And <laughs> he has fallen into the hole. No, okay. the royal hole. Now you're the only one who saw it. Oh. All the cameras in the press go, oh my God, where's Prince Charles? Prince Charles, oh, go over here, over here. There he is. Ah, uh, there's Prince Charles right there. <laughs> Son of a Hello, bitch. Governor. Mr. Mr. Charles, congratulations. You are the new King of England. Oh, all right. I guess I'm oh, going to walk through right. these gates into the palace and see if I get arrested. You are now <laughs> essentially the King of England. Okay. Whenever someone's like, hey, how this come he doesn't wrong. look? that much like old photos of prince charles everyone just does this okay okay hold on let's at least give you some legs though you are now on the royal throne i would like my finest knight to grab some cement and fill in that hole with as much cement as it should take now we're 
say. Yeah, okay. That's the first okay. thing I was going to say. Cover that hole up. Okay. Keep him in there. So he's going to die in that hole on your watch. Yeah. Okay, all right. And somewhere, yes, you need to cover your tracks. Help, I'm still down here. <laughs> I'm not actually dead. Yeah, shut up. Subito, go back to your YouTube channel, you idiot. I'm the king now. Okay. Kind of annoyed I had to do this myself, but whatever. I'm sure this crown will come in handy eventually. I would like to okay. summon the royal bookkeeper. The royal bookkeeper. What did mom leave me? There's got to be some cash somewhere, right? She was a hundred. Yes. Okay. Got any lottery tickets she didn't cash in? Hell yeah. Some gold on her RuneScape account? Something. <laughs> I like to imagine that the queen was a massive gamer. Like Prince that. Charles has a wife. Give us a smooch. We will be together Replacer. forever. However, dig the hole back up, dump her in, get a new wife. Get her out of here. Could I rule such a country, wield such power without my source of personal power? Yo, oh, yeah, we're going to be a great team. You're going to be with me forever, forever and ever. I hope the staircases are nice and high in this place forever. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> ah, looks like I made it out of that oh, no. hole in the ground. Wait a minute. Who the bloody hell are you? In it, if you don't immediately give up in the it. throne right now, when they do choose me, I'll have you killed in secret. Just like I did Mr. Epstein. What? I was with a party with him last week. He's dead already? I'm slinking away, Charles. You deal with this chick. She's got questions for you. Okay, Prince. I'll see myself out. You could- No! What? You're on the throne! That's what I'm saying! Off with his head, you bro! Call in, you call in the guards right now. Get this imposter out of here! Look what how, are you doing, Sumito? Look how dirty he is. How could you fold so easily? He's a mole, people. You've seen the Jordan Peele movie? He's... That's my doppelganger here to kill me. Oh, my God. From the underground uh, warehouse yes. thing. And uh, he hisses. He doesn't speak. Could steal some furniture on the way out. Oh, I'm not done, Mr. Oh. Game oh, okay. Designer. I've tricked out. you along with Prince. All the better. I go find the royal guard. Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. We ain't Very done. good. <laughs> At ease. Identify yourself. Who are you? Oh, my name's Tom Philip Moore from Westminster Van Hyvenshire. Oh, for up the on love of <laughs> God, shut up. What, what? What is your occupation? What do you do here? Uh, we are the royal guards. We protect the queen. Exactly. And who am I? Well, just from looking at you, we can tell that you are the bloody king of England. Exactly. Now, the king of England has a job. We are your personal army. Someone. Make of us what you will. You can do literally anything to us. <laughs> Some, how does it keep ending up to this? We lay down our lives. Okay, that for Sweeter. the love of... This is an easier job done standing up for the love of fuck. There is an imposter. <laughs> in the building. Someone is threatening the crown. It's like the equivalent of making your dolls kiss. <laughs> it's just like a big child just like in there making out. And he's like, please, let me continue with my story. Oh my god, they are just trembling oh, with rage. Boy. You are really going to do a coup against the king. Listen, listen, Fuck listen. Yeah. I head I'm into the, the building. I walk up to Prince Charles. Listen up, in it. I've decided. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. I've decided. I like the feel of the royal cushion against my bare ass cheeks. I'm the king. Well, this is quite the twist. <laughs> Everybody in this castle has already accepted me as the king. And I've decided a good answer from you will let you keep your life. I shall retire to Epstein Island. Come on, kill it. Damn. All right, if he's taking her with her, I'm getting a two for one special. I guess that's it. I think you win. Oh, you won that one. <laughs> no, I mean, now I gotta live in England, so I don't, I don't know about that. There's no Chipotle here. Really? Nah. Fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. You are driving in your car. Okay. And then all of a sudden, what? What is that? A Boeing? <laughs> yes, a new Airbus. <laughs> Sonito. You have been chosen to represent Earth. We are alien. You're identifying yourself as aliens? I would encourage you not to. He said we are. Yeah. And I was like, I heard we are farmers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a hive mind thing. <laughs> we are alien, like Legion, but the alien version from space. 
That's better than the farmers thing. Yeah. I'd rather it be aliens than farmers. Farmers are terrifying. I'm waiting for big mecha zoid battle. <laughs> okay. You know what zoids are? No. Google. Have you seen zoids before? For real? What the fuck are they? You've never seen zoids? Look at that. What are a zoid? That's a zoid. That's weird. It's a they. It, it's an animal. It's Gundam, but with animals. It's an animal transformer Gundam, but with guns. That's, a lot of them have guns. That's absolutely ridiculous. You've never seen Zoids? Who has ever seen Zoids? Oh man, this show was dope, man. It's a game now, I guess, but nobody would do that. Nobody would play that. How much is it? Shut up. <laughs> Let's get back to your Zoids. Yeah. Ask stupid questions. There are what? Whatever. Beam me up, Scots. Good answer. It says. Be That's not sick. afraid. We oh, have shit. seen your movie films, and we have taken an appropriate form that we thought you would appreciate. Okay. It's I mean, horrifying. clearly you haven't studied my particular taste in movie films, but what will you ask us? What am I representing Earth in? How may I be of? Informativeness. International Scrabble Tournament. What? Interspecies Scrabble Tournament? How could you have that? Inter... You'd have to agree on a language. Intergalical Mental Scrabble Tournament. Intergalactic. The word is the word is just intergalactic. Galactic. The word exists already. It's already a thing. <laughs> I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to guess ahead. That's what to I'm thinking. You. We wish to listen. Have you guys just like retired the anal probe? Like, is it still around somewhere? <laughs> Stupid like, ass. Could I see it? There Did you guys do the crop circles? Is that a thing you do? Different guys. Different guys. What about that one time where I swear I closed the fridge door, but it was still a little bit open? I've thought about that for years. Was that you? <laughs> that is a game we like to play. We find it very funny. I knew it completely. We have one list of demands. Okay. I got you. I'm capable of this providing. This is getting creepy. We have <laughs> determined <laughs> that you are the sexiest human I knew alive. It. <laughs> And we aliens are all gay. I knew. T <laughs> so, Internet Historian is just incredibly horny. Like, that's really just the end of it. That's really what this is all about. He really just wants somebody to role play oh with him. God. And he just posted it on the internet for a million people to see. Tinder was wrong, and I'm going to ignore the second half of that sentence. Well, I'm only intrigued with the compliments. We will destroy the Earth unless you agree <laughs> to be our alien sex slave BF forever. There is Forever? no way this is the premise. We have, Sumeto gets abducted by aliens and has to have gay... First of all, they're aliens. We didn't even need to assign gender to them. We had to specify it's gay. We didn't have to assign gender. He, but he chose to, Sumeto. He's sex with aliens well, for we, eternity to save humanity have, that I don't even give a shit about. We have no concept of male and female, but we all have... Take penis involved. <laughs> we Suggest cloning. Leave the clone. Save your ass. Oh, okay. Yeah. We just love the word gay. <laughs> Listen, Samito. <laughs> we uh, have advanced technology so that you can live forever. Forever and ever you will be our <laughs> BF. Will you do it to save the human race? No. Listen, are we talking like 24 hours of gay sex or is this like a twice a week married couple best case scenario sort of scenario? Okay. We will provide you with video games, okay. the best movies. Okay. It will be practically heaven. However, we will be constantly doing you. He just really, what is that fucking website where people used to upload those sex fanfics? Which one? There's like That's a lot. A, well, just name one. Fan fiction. Right. Like he just really, he missed his chance to publish there and we're being forced to read it here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So immortality, right. but you're perpetually being penetrated by aliens. That's the scenario we're going with? Yeah. <laughs> These are all conditions. I, I say yes. 
I'd say fuck, this is still more interesting than a normal life. You hit it here first, folks. Samito's gay for aliens. <laughs> it's more gay for immortality, but, you know, however you want to spin it. Uh, uh, okay, Win. we'll call this one a draw. Okay. So let's tell you up a score. You got sure. karate chopped in the ass. Right. That's, that's plus two stagger. You got okay. two million dollars, but that weighs you down, so that's plus two encumbrance. Okay. You became the king of England, so, yeah, that's also a penalty for some reason. And... Yeah. You became the gay alien sex slave. <laughs> that is neutral. Well, congratulations, Samita. Uh, here's your prize. Chintamanti stone of Shangri-La. Sick. Ooh. Ooh. Leave suggestions for scenarios in comments. Okay, quick. Give okay. me your scenario suggestion. Wait, no, wait. I wasn't ready for it this. Can't get any I wasn't worse. ready for this. It can't get any worse than a gay alien sex slave. The door is wide open for you here. Ooh, we could go with something super realistic. Okay, go. You ready? Have a good you ready? One. Okay. 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 Okay, I got a good one. You wake up. Right. And you are suddenly nearsighted but you can't find your glasses. Okay. And you have to go through your life like that. That's painfully <laughs> relatable. <laughs> That's the first hour of my every morning. Um, okay, here's a good one though. Okay. Honestly, one I think would be fire. Okay. Actually okay. fire. Okay, I'm ready. Internet historian's version of Fear Factor. <gasps> oh, man. Right? Yeah. Just do like solid three rounds of Fear Factor. Yeah, that would that be great. That would be fire. And of course, a favorite Family Feud. Internet historian's version of Family Feud would be very strange. We asked a hundred no. gay aliens. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite sex position? You gotta like guess, put top five on the board. Here we go. Right? Yes. Anal probes, number one, obviously. Please stop. <laughs> I like that this video was clearly just internet historian doing his own thing. Yeah. And then his editors just doing their best. Yeah, it's a, it, so it looked like he really was using the Photoshop in real time, and the editors kind of took that. Yeah. And then, like, edited around it too. Yeah. Of it. This was everything we ever wanted. Please leave your scenarios in the, in the comments section. Yeah. I think Fear Factor is honestly top tier. I think the glasses one is good, okay? Glasses is kind of dry, but having a dry and then a heavy, yeah, great. Yeah. Love to see a mech battle. Would love to see Alien Family Feud. You know? So, at the end of this, <laughs> you're going to see all of the bloopers we had from this. It was a hard start. Hey, yo. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Who the fuck is Young Gravy? Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are really good. Pumpkin seeds don't taste like pumpkin. They taste like, uh, they kind of, they smell pumpkin-y. No, they don't. They definitely do. And, and like, I like scooping them out of the pumpkin too. Okay, when you scoop them out fresh, yes. Yeah, but after they're them, roasted, no. Put them in some water, clean them, just a little, dry them. Put them on the sizzler. The sizzler? Yeah. How are you making pumpkin seeds? On a cast iron, cast iron, cook them on cast iron. No, you just put them on a baking sheet, then you no, bake them. No, 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 that's not true. Yes, it is. You cook them on the stove top. Nobody does that. You don't cook pumpkin seeds on a stove top? Nobody does that. We're not here for this at all. This might even be cut out. Um, that's not how you spell pumpkin pumpkin. seeds, iron skit, uh huh, cast iron skillet. Pumpkin seeds, skillet toasted pumpkin seeds. Who does this? Suck it. Suck it. I've never heard of this in my Dude, life. Dude, I, I was like, this is a thing, bro. No. One cup of pumpkin seeds, some bullshit. Yeah, you bake it. And heat a largely bottom dry skillet over medium heat. Add pumpkin seeds. Shake and stir the seeds constantly as they're toasting to prevent bu burning. And they go tss. That's what I read. I'm very excited. Yeah. Worst, I, worst case scenario is something that I'm very familiar with because I always think in the worst case scenario. Yeah, you're, you're fucking stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally, yeah, this is literally what I want. I'm down. Like, yeah, I'm actually so excited that finally there's a video this just gonna, dedicated to it. This is going to go so oh poorly. <laughs> okay, well, give me one second. Sorry, hold on. Yeah, they are actually all blind reactions. Blind reactions. Internet historian. They're blind. We're blind. We can't see. 
I can't see your thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> like he's playing football, football, or I guess. I guess for him it would be rugby. Yeah, right? it would be. Yeah, I was they don't, to y'all say, don't dude. play football. Yeah, well, you guys dude. play football, but it's not real football. They play soccer football. It's soccer football. And then football rugby. Which I guess soccer football is real football. Our football is the. F- Sorry. Thanks. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that reminder that we failed geography. So we have um, pivot in, <laughs> pivot, turn. 360. Do you want to start over? Do you want to start over? uh, I am editing this in my head, which is (laughs) what's making this so difficult to do. He's known to be a menace for this. Like, he's known. And, you know, we watched those, like, the, like CJ and the Champ reactions yeah. about menaces. Yeah, yeah. He would make it to the fucking... What are you doing? What is... <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Start over. Start yeah. Cut yeah, yeah. Cut, cut the cameras. Dead ass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that cameras. was so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> that was so fucking funny. 